Hey, Dark Knight Stone here for Friday, October the 4th, and I'm back with more free plays for you. Yesterday went one and one. I got mine. West Coast Wise guys did not get theirs. And so we move ahead to today. 97 and 66 for years. Truly, they're just, just a hair under 55% with the West Coast Wise guys on free play. So still making money if you're betting these free picks or at least considering them. Okay. So, hey. Make it happen. Okay. Subscribe to this channel. Get these free picks. There's lots of winners here uh, six days a week. Uh, so make sure that you do that. Subscribe. And then after you have subscribed, go directly to your settings and hit that alert bell. So you'll be notified each and every time I put out a video. Uh, hey, yesterday, nice winner, uh, a free play with a uh, match with a really a miracle ending. Okay, on that one. Thank you, Pete Alonzo. Uh, so, so that was good for the free play. Uh, but uh, also had Texas State. So another nice winner there. So started off the week great with college football. So I got a big card on coming up on Saturday, college football. I got six plays in all highlighted by my 10-unit uh, best bet that's ready to go. I've won each of the last two weeks on that. I'm coming off two exact winning weeks, as a matter of fact. So that's that's been terrific there. Uh, also, I have a college football underdog with teeth teeth so it's got some bite okay so i got one of those for you that's just 25 dollars. the best bet's 30 and if you're interested in the entire card i got that all six plays you can get that it's I'm calling it a super six pack and that includes the best bet and that is available for 59 dollars and 66 cents there you go get that number six in there so all available winningcappers.net and at gamblersworld.net all these great football plays starting to really heat up nicely and look to continue it. Got off to a good start, as I mentioned already this week. Look to continue that going forward uh, the rest of the weekend. Okay. Uh, for No plays on Friday, by the way. Okay. I do have a free play for you on Friday, but no plays on Friday. So let's get to today's free play. We're talking Oregon and Michigan State. Oregon's offense has been less than electric thus far, uh, at least to me. Only 36 points per game uh, from them. And considering they got uh, Dylan Gabriel, I kind of was expecting a little bit more. I don't know if you were or not, but I was. Okay, G Gabriel's completing 81.5% of his passes, so it's not like, you know, not completing stuff here. But he only has nine touchdowns in four games. I think that's a little less than we expected from him. Uh, nonetheless, I'm playing Michigan State, and Michigan State has had at least three turnovers in three of their four games. So they are turning the ball over dramatically. Uh, that is to do a lot with their erratic quarterback, Aiden Childs, who's accounted for eight picks of the team's 13 turnovers thus far. We all know that it's unnerving to play at Autzen Stadium. Uh, now, Jonathan, their coach, Jonathan Smith, won't be intimidated because he was a he was the coach most recently at Oregon State, and he also played there. So he knows the drill. But here's the thing. What can he do? He can talk to his players, but when you hear all that noise in that stadium, okay, it can be very intimidating. And if you're turnover prone to begin with, I don't know. I think that's 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 trouble here. I'm looking for the Ducks to waddle into the end zone a couple different times, at least uh, off of Sparty miscues. Here's something, though, from a handicapping standpoint I'm going to throw at you here. If you watch this game tonight, make sure that you look at the Oregon run offense. Okay. They're only averaging 153 yards rushing, nowhere near typical uh, Oregon standards. And they're a pedestrian 4.4 yards per carry with Ohio state on tap next week. The ducks will want to balance out their offense better. So they're getting more out of the running game and they're going to face a Sparty defense that only permits 114 yards per game on the ground and 3.3 yards per carry. So, this will be a good test for them. So keep an eye on that because that might give you some insight into next week's game. As far as this game, Oregon, 11 and two against a spread coming off of games in which they've two games in which they've committed one or less turnover. Sparty, when they're facing a team recently that has scores 31 or more points, 0 and five against a spread. I'm going to give you a score in this one. Oregon, 42, Michigan State, 13. Oregon covers the minus 23 for today's free play video. Okay, so we got that. So again, got lots of lots of great action coming your way Saturday. And the baseball, I don't know yet because I actually had one baseball game on Saturday, but I'm still waiting for to, uh, something on the line. 
and some of the pitching matchups. So we'll have to see. So make sure that I'll have I'll have something for you on Saturday. I just don't know what it is right now as I'm doing this video. So make sure that you check that out again, though. So I got a 10 unit best bet going. I got an underdog that I really like. And if you can get all six plays, if you like, available at a great price of fifty nine sixty six. OK, on that West Coast Wise Guys play. It's not for today because they don't have anything for today. There was a kind of a mixed bag on on what was going on with them. Some of them like Syracuse, some of them like Nevada, or like Las Vegas, uh, and nothing else showed up. So I'm going to give you pro likely the first of two plays, unless I'm going to have a baseball play for you for tomorrow, maybe on that for them. But I'm going to give you what they like otherwise, which is California tomorrow plus the points against Miami. So there's your other free play for you on a on a Friday for Saturday. So that's what I have for you. This is Doug Upstone. I'll be back for Saturday with two more free plays. Till next time, I'm out.